Hey guys, it's Sequence back here. I wanted to check in for a new video, so I'm gonna show you my day kind of thing and what I'm working on. So first thing is I am dyeing my hair and we'll get like a reveal kind of thing whenever it's done, but I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm painting on. So this is how it looks. It's just random stars. I have painted this white and I sketched them with like a Posca marker and then I'm going to paint all the stars. This is only like one coat so it looks terrible. Uh, this is why I don't like acrylic as much because uh, it's hard to get an opaque pink even though it has white in it and also it's way darker but this is what I'm working on so I'm gonna film like try to put some somewhere and like make a time lapse of this <laughs> Bon appétit! I have a salad with no dressing because I have avocados. I have some like nuts and seeds and stuff. There's some beets. And then we have avocado toast. I'm a millennial. Uh, it's pretty, really amazing usually. I have avocado toast with an egg and some like low fat bacon. My egg is probably too cooked, but it's fine. Yay! Tasty! Baby next to me. Maybe. <laughs> so cute! So I colored my hair, and this is not rose gold. <laughs> it's very, very dark. But I don't mind it too much. I like it actually. I used to have that color in my hands, um, because because of the gold tone underneath. When it starts fading, the gold will show through, and then I will have like a deep rose gold. This is going to fade really well. So yeah, this is how it looks. I like the color, it's just a bit darker than what I really would like to get. Now I'm gonna get cracking on working again. I am cleaning up some of my design for the coloring book, but I'm working on this piece right now for my sweet kawaii coloring book. So yeah, cute! It's so cute, it's so cute, it's so cute! Uh, this is the point. <laughs> All the designs are either like cute or just little like romantic character that didn't really fit in other books. So I have that. Um, can show you also. So I have like this cute manga girl and the other ones are almost done. I just have to clean the designs uh, with this one that is not completely um, clean yet. It's really long to do but yeah, uh, so I'm gonna get cracking on that. It's currently 6 p.m. I think I'm gonna work on that for like maybe two hours or so. Hopefully get like two, maybe three clean because I really want to order my book in like around the 10th or something. So yeah, uh, that's the plan. Let's just clean that up. <laughs> I found out like an hour ago that my best friend's cat just passed away this past night. Um, she fell from the window on Monday evening. I was there 
and I usually have my cat with me and we try to be careful, of course, but I don't know what happened that specific night and I didn't really pay attention to my cat. So I saw her cat just go on the window and maybe like 30 seconds after that, I don't know exactly how long it was, I didn't see my cat just going on the side and he also jumped. Happened very fast. I saw my cat jumped and he was scared and spooked, so he went back and got down. But because he was scared, but her cat just saw my cat from the side, so she like she turned around and she showed my cat, and she also got spooked and then she fell down. Literally, I just saw the cat just being spooked and fell down on like the third floor. It's like almost the fourth floor. It's like there's grass on the bottom, so it's like slightly angled down. We, hey, he's doing okay. This little pest. She went to the vet and um, she was like the cat, her cat Yuki. She was okay, like she didn't really looked spooked and traumatized, but like externally nothing really crazy. We definitely saw that uh, she probably had her like broke a paw or two, maybe not the best, you know. But she seemed. Like, not in extreme danger as it is. So she went there and she got back an hour after. They did, like, lots of checkups and x-rays and all. And she definitely had at least one part broken. But they had to check internal bleeding first. She had to go through surgery to get, like, a plaque with screws installed. Because she broke um, one bone in the uh, front paw like the right one I think and also she sprained the wrist so surgery went well she got back and for two days she was with my friend but she wasn't eating anything so that was not a good sign and she got her back on Saturday to check on her and um, she uh, the vet said like you can leave her here because she's not feeling the best she has to eat if she doesn't eat you have to bring her back. Yesterday, she was even feeling more weak. And um, I think the, the last time I saw her was on Saturday evening. And I had like a feeling that I wouldn't see her again. She, she actually meows, but she wasn't purring. And also that's weird. So my friend said that uh, she had to go back to the vet yesterday around 6 p.m. Because her cat was very cold. And um, she had like a feeling that that's not a good sign. So yes, she was actually uh, very cold. She was at, her, her temperature was 34.5 degrees Celsius. And cats are supposed to be around 38 to 39. So she had waiting just like slightly longer and she would have been in a coma but fortunately wasn't enough because she got hooked to an IV they did lots of checkups on her and like uh, two hours after that her the vet called and said that she maybe have some like internal issues with her pancreas or any other organs if there's like an inflammation going on so she can't promise anything. She had to get her back on track, trying to warm her up, but she didn't make it. Um, her heart actually didn't handle the whatever what was happening too much, I guess, supposedly. If this was like a combination of small injuries, there's still like multiple injuries. So um, my friend told me that this morning when I wake up that unfortunately our cat died and she's feeling of course like the worst but she also mentioned that she doesn't blame me for anything or my cat it's not your fault it's just life it has it happens it's an accident we it, it just there's nothing we can do about that and um, she spent 10 years with me I'm more than happy I gave her all the love that I could <laughs> We never have enough time and like he got me thinking to my previous cat and all that I've tried to save as as long as I could but he was 17 years old and his body just like stopped working like the, I, I had no blame in anything like it's not an accident I didn't left the window open I would be so I would be so upset and so sad if this happened in my place and like her cat just like spooked my cat and then and like I would be so much like so guilty of leaving this damn window open but she doesn't blame me at all 
and I think she blames herself more than anything, but also, like, it's just, it's just life, like, for the last decade, her cat was on the window and she, in, and didn't fail, so I'm like, but like, oh gosh, this is like the worst timing, she already has a lot on her plate, it's locked down, there's like freaking viruses, like, I mean, shit storm, I mean, 2020 is just like one of the worst year, at least Trump lost, <laughs> I'm like, please give me some good news, I mean, actually, I found that that, I think, on Saturday-ish was like around 8, I actually checked on the elections on Google for like, two days and then when it's actually out I didn't even like see it until someone told me so I was kind of upset <laughs> but anyways thank god at least one good thing happened this year I'm definitely more on the democracy side I have I believe that it's very important to help minorities and as an artist myself, I mean, I follow tons of people who are in the LGBT plus like queer community, like every other uh, minority where it's compared, like, where it's like either your skin color, your religious beliefs or your gender, your identity, like, all of those people basically fall just that this, this umbrella of like um, not matter at all to other because of this white, this male like supremacy thing and uh, heterosexual. Like I can't believe it's like 20, almost 2021 and there's still like a conversation to accept that not every single person on this fucking planet is okay with how they present themselves. Like, no, you don't have to... If you don't align with being, like... uh, If you're not, like, a cis white male who's heterosexual, then you're screwed at some point. <laughs> I'm like, why? <laughs> but I'm hoping that now that he's out, even though he's, like... <laughs> he's like putting the worst tantrum ever being like we won this already I'm gonna get like I'm gonna get to the court and um, pretend that I have like a case he's gonna cry and like probably just tries to come back at some point but we have four years I mean I say we even though I'm not like part of the USA but as someone who a relies a lot on on US for my work because 80% of my income comes from USA and from you guys if you are in the USA so any when the country is not doing well it's affecting my life <laughs> so I'm happy that Trump is out it's been a weird day maybe I'll just like try to incorporate that into a bigger vlog anyways I'm gonna try my best to get on with my day and keep busy because I have lots of work and I also said to my friend that I'll be there for her if she needs. Uh, what I have to do today is uh, I have a few Etsy orders but not a lot sadly again <laughs> and I have to finish uh, a freelance job that I is going to take like the entire week I think and I also have to go to um, physiotherapy I think it's called, for my ankle, because I sprained it, and um, it's like 11.30. And I'm going to try my best to just calm myself and stop feeling guilty, because it's not my fault. It's been a strange day. I am very, dizzy, like, exhausted. I cried so much. And I cried because, like, I love cats, and I, of course, I'm so, so sad for my friend. And I feel so guilty because I, I usually, I I make sure that I, my cat isn't like bothering her. So, but she's not even my friend. Of course, she's not mad at me. I'm just, this is very shitty. This year is so shitty. I'm gonna try to vlog again, like, and just change the topic, <laughs> because I want to cheer myself up. I actually watched the uh, show The Mandalorian. I watched like four episodes, really like it, but like this baby Yoda, it's not Yoda, but you know, like the baby is just so, so cute, and yeah, it got me thinking of the cat and all, and you know the thing, that weird thing that happens when you're like facing, not direct loss, but like when you forget why you cried and why you're sad, and it hits you back, 
this is intense this is a sad vlog but like this is this is the day so cheer myself up yes i got a package this is coming from japan and uh i got that delivered this morning and i'm excited and this is for art supplies you know it's been forever and i'm so happy that i decided to just start working on that again because um i have like a like a project in mind a series that i want to do on shikishi boards oh this is very white <laughs> yeah oh they look nice so this is a pack of 10 and if you don't know what uh those are so shikishi boards are like as I said a Japanese um, oh this one is slightly bent on the corner but it's fine they are like uh, rice paper board made in Japan and uh, I'm kind of sad because this has a bent corner but I mean it is what it is it's coming from Japan I'm gonna try to get it slightly better but this is how they look it's pretty really white <laughs> and there's like this gold rim on the side and you can see like this one is a little bit damaged I hope they are not like all of that and the back is like this yellow with like little specks of gold no actually silver silver several specks and I really like that I made um, only one I mean two artworks I made uh, a model like insert picture I made this one and I also uh, which is called dangerous beauty and I also made um, Isis and I have a video of that and uh, really like it a lot they're specially made for artists who are doing like uh, like a small commission and they usually do that on this board they are cool and like very like it's very unique and um, I really like those I really like to work with it with markers I what I did is actually um, the one piece was done with markers and pencils they look great with pencils they also handle watercolors, but like you can't put a ton of different like layers. You can't really just um, it handles maybe like f four layers of markers. I'm gonna try to use watercolors. I've never used watercolors on those. Um, I'm just gonna check quickly if they are like all damaged because that would be pretty annoying. This sides are fine, and this corner is not the best condition. I'm kind of sad like I paid like 30 euros I think and like they're slightly not necessarily bent but the biggest yeah there are a lot of those have like slightly bent corner I got that on eBay so they didn't really handle well like it was protected in a bubble mailer so there's not much that they can do I also got Another thing that I got, actually it's been like almost two months, but I finally spurge on the Imi Gouache. A lot of people have talked about that and I haven't tested them out yet um, because I'm busy <laughs> with tons of things and I wanted to properly test them out, like being at my, core, at my space. So yeah, this is the giant set and there's like lots of different colors. I mean, you've, you've seen the video. And um, yeah, I will definitely make a, like, a proper review for that. But like I said, I'm kind of busy working only in black and white. <laughs> I miss colors. I'm trying to not buy art supplies anymore. So that's like pretty much what I got recently. But I haven't like actually draw in a long time. If you're like interested in seeing my coloring books, but you haven't tried them out, um, I'm gonna have little like sample packs available in a few days. I hopefully because um those are like from defective copies um they're like some errors or like some printing issues there's just a few things that didn't went the best so some pages are damaged so i'm gonna create like small sets with the pages that are not damaged and also smaller sets just like crop the paper crop the um 
the alls in the, in the top and do like sample packs. I also have sets um, with the watercolor paper that are damaged. Not like insanely damaged, but they can't really be sold as a book. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that because I'm gonna have a set uh, like featuring two books maybe three depends i have to check but it's mainly the natural enchantment book and the dark fantasy book so um yeah be on the lookout for that um uh, i'm still i still have to check on all the copies that were affected and my actual book is gonna take also i think about two weeks to be done so i don't think i'm gonna have a release date because i don't really know i'm trying my best but it might just be out in like the the, the last week of november which is sad because I really wanted to get it in time for Christmas, but even if I get it done and I order the books, I'm going to have them delivered to me maybe like the first week of December. And I will try my best to ship them out, but usually books, they take three, four weeks to arrive. Anyways, <laughs> um, don't make any sense because my brain is just so not into it, into like speaking right now because... I'm tired and, and sad and English, my English brain just doesn't work. Like I don't get access to it as much as easier, easier, is oh God, as easy as it's, I don't know how to speak. It, it's, it's easier when I'm not tired. <laughs> That's yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, it's a it's a sad vlog, but I want to post it, and I I don't want to wait until a few days to edit that out because it doesn't make any sense. So I think I'm gonna maybe like start posting twice a week, so you get more of a real like what's going on in my life version, and um, I will insert like all the things, all the clips that I have filmed so far so that's it for now hope you're okay france is locked down for a long time i think because covid is hard here we actually passed um like eighty thousand actual case of covid uh on like saturday this was the highest and it's insanely high so that's really nice <laughs> I'm like expecting good news, but like at least Trump lost too much. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for clicking and listening to me. I hope you're well. Send prayers for my friend so she can heal and rest in peace, little cat. Um, at least she's now in a happier place because she's not suffering anymore. But that's really sad. Thank you for clicking and listening to me and yeah and thank you for also allowing myself to just be real on this platform. Bye guys!